Okay, guys. So, what was happening was I was laying down chilling. Chilling. Trying to upload a video afterwards, but I'm gonna have to, I'm doing it on his so my phone all acting all stink and stuff by storage and caring also. I got my daughter camera. Cause she said I could use it. Then my eyelash, y'all put I'm gonna put my eyelash while I'm on here talking to y'all probably. Nine times out of ten, cause that's what I wanna do. But yeah, so God had gave me the message, guys. For people not to watch the messenger. But to listen to the message. If you started lusting after me, believe you me. Stop doing it. <laughs> I'm on. I'm like not on for display, God. I'm not for everybody. You know what I'm saying? You can't latch on to my energy and lust after me to the point where it speaks so many volumes. Hold on, because I got to get the mirror. That's what I'm. And I gotta get me some to eat. Some of the snacks. Oh my god, I'm gonna be on my baby's snacks. Okay, so I'm not. I gotta get a mirror, guys. Okay. Okay. Back. So God said, don't watch the messenger, listen to the message. So don't watch me, but listen to God. What God got to tell you. Because I'm human just like you. So don't watch the messenger. Don't start developing all these nasty feelings towards me. Envy. And, and, and um, what is it called? Insecurities. And then causing me that energy of being nasty, mean, ambiguous. Fighting with yourself when you're around. Just let it be beautiful. Fighting yourself. Because you ain't fighting me. You're fighting yourself. You're in self. I'm telling you. Somebody make you feel uncomfortable and intimidated. Maybe it ain't always that it's a bad thing sometimes because that person's energy could just speak volumes because they have that elevated and ascended, ascended somewhere. I chill. Out here, out here, I chill. Mm -hmm. And mine, I'm <laughs> Um. Guys, what I really want to talk about how people are so rude on jobs, hiring, compromise, people working, taking care of themselves and shit, forcing people to have to get down with the fuckery. Um. I don't understand why they do that. Why everybody just can't go to work. Love each other. Care about each other. Not cause the bull crap. Where everybody can make money. I don't understand why. People won't let it be beautiful. I man just never seen nothing like it. I'm like, look, at the end of the day, we all need to make money. If you're stopping somebody else from making money because you're being selfish or you're being combative, sorry. <laughs> Waking up being malicious, getting somebody fired. That person can't take care of their family. And that make you feel good. That's some mean shit. And if you don't think karma gonna come back and whoop your ass, don't run with that picture. And if you're willing to be so mean to somebody and you've been awakened that what you're doing is wrong and it's causing karma for yourself, and then it's warning you not to do that to that person, you don't make a change. What you think will happen? You know, there's some bigger karma in another kind of way. And I don't even think. Man, I'm still to the phone. But, 
Listen to the message. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's for me too. Girl. God, it's so good. Somebody can be so mean here. And not do anything to deserve. That was her job. Girl, child, boy, dude, I had to come through that one. Yep. All at a fast food restaurant that one lost. Ethnics and what it's really all about. You're hiring anybody. Was it a mess though? Good people. That one came about. Through the place. So, now they reaping. They karma. Not operating in graders. Yes, y'all. Corella DeVille being brought down. That's what I heard. Mm -hmm. And it's bad. If God done classified you as Corella DeVille, I mean, they don't even put her in a good light in the movies. I mean, and somebody comparing you and then the Almighty, our Father who out in heaven, who is so holy, who is of good, who can make this thing right. Out of respect and honor and homage, just that to know that he even think of you as Corella the Bill. You getting embarrassed because you're going to a red carpet, and or you at a basketball game and you see a star you really like and she ain't paying no attention. Oh my God, do you hurt that much? Humbleness, in a way. We choose to pay homage to God. If you don't, then you need to fix it. Because he said, hey, no other God before me. You need to fix that. And that's very small. It ain't nothing big. That's big as when you got to fight these demons. Yes. Demon fighting is real. It's like Buffy the Vampire. But shit. It's London the Vampire. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And it's like, or sometimes I really want to do this. That's how I be looking at them, them, them demons now. Like, y'all know, 
Some of them tried to cause a, a big ass like warfare in my life, but it was like basically all barking, no, you know, nothing that could harm me. So I was like probably literally pooping and talking to the demon like, you know, I mean, I know you tried, you did, you tried, you tried. But it was weak. And you gotta come with something better than that, please. Stop. And find you some sick to do. And so, as I buffed the vampire verbally slayed them, demons, I then come back and charm their ass. All at one time. All three girls, all at one time. So, it was like. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Um, I come out unscratched and unscathed. Like a little dust on me. Little negative energy here. Work on that with some chakra healing. You know, recover my third eye. Calling back my energy. You know, I, that part. Um, and they was mad to me. They said, okay, well, I'll send my cousin out to you. I'll send this out to you. I'll send that out to you. And then they just started sending shit out to you. You be like, dang. What happened? You know what I mean? Yes, y'all. But all I can tell you is, Keep God first because if you keep him first, he'll give you the right response and reaction. Even if you have to teach him how to respond and never react. It's a humbling situation. It's things that he may put you through. So I'll allow you to go through. Let me say that. Hold on. Hold on. But that doesn't constitute... You know, he doesn't love you or you're not special or you don't have a purpose. And it may sometimes get you into a space where you may feel like you don't feel good enough or that, you know, whatever. Or you can't make it and people around you will sense that or you might speak about it and they might be, you know, in your presence. And the whole time they want to hurt you. Are they plotting against you? Are they trying to get you into a space where you don't believe in yourself and you feel like, or they make you feel like God don't help you? Like what you did is so wrong. But they do wrong too. But what you did is so wrong. That's a hypocrite. That's a narcissist. I don't care if it's somebody grandma. But I feel ready. I feel ready watching them. With her grandbaby shifting in her damn teeth. Cause you know what you done did to that grandbaby is wrong. Make her feel like she got short hair real pretty. Then she often cut her hair off whenever she feels. And she's been through so much and her hair. Accumulate this energy that she don't like. She cut her hair off. But that grandma. I was doing a job to help that young girl. Not even making her feel bad. Not none of that. I'm gonna pay for that. Just because you feel like God don't forgive you for your sins, don't make somebody else feel like God ain't even acknowledging what they did and forgiving them. Don't do that. God don't like that. You're burning brown so for that. Mm -hmm. You have to go back and want to fix that. Specifically, tell that little girl you was wrong for doing that. You have to face that. You have to humble yourself all the way down. That's okay. You don't like it. I'm telling you, in order to fix it, that's what you're going to have to do. Just letting you know right now. You can go, you can fight, and you can do it all kinds of different ways. You can beat me, but every time you be mean to her, I can whoop you. And little girl, stay humble. Don't use it to your advantage. Stay humble. God, see what's going on. I let him fix it. You know, 
and I love both of you guys. Now we are best friends at the end. <laughs> Auntie will be jealous if you get the friend, you'll be from jealous when the auntie get home from him. Under my boyfriend and his friendships. Watch out when I always love each other. I'll always love you. That's what I'm talking about. But um one of those stuff was I was laying down and God got me up and he told me to tell you guys. Don't watch the messenger. Listen to the message. He only told me something. Oh, I got to reflect. He only told me before too. Um, he was putting me on me to tell y'all. Because it's true. I come when I get a message. It's up, but I wish I could have more to talk about. This ain't one of the ones where I'm gonna have to use my cars. This is one of the ones God got me up. I'm told me to tell y'all to respect yourself. And you can naturally respect others. And love yourself so you can naturally love others. Don't worry about when I'm eating crumbs on my floor, how my house look. If I'm gonna sweep my floor. Don't worry about that. Specifically, God said, don't watch the message, watch the mess. Listen to the message. Watch the message. Become one with the message. See what that message means. How can you? Find ways to accomplish what the message is requiring of you. Mm -hmm. As you're under construction, God shift things in your life like this. He'll make you aware of things. He'll send people in signs and see what else he's like. I walked yesterday. Don't get the top this sticking right up like I said. Here I go. Here I go. My ancestors wanted me to know they had it all in check. Mm-hmm. Like that was just my message specifically because that's what I needed to hear. I'm just sharing it with you guys. Your message could be something else to change your way. Change your characteristic. That's not conducive to the rest of your your, your genetic makeup. Your mental makeup. It's the one feeling that stands out that usually causes you to get in trouble with it's anger, love, sex. Line stealing is that, and the remedy for that is don't watch the messenger, listen to the message. Because if you're watching somebody, a star, a leader, anybody who's leading, leading by example, for example, a prophet, a prophet is a preacher, a singer, a pianist, anybody, a dog walker. Firefighter, police officer, a judge, a jury, a prosecutor, a state attorney, a light, the man that be on the corner with his helmet on, fixing stuff, and that orange and yellow shit on the ground, X's and shit, that may not work that way over here. I mean, all of that, what that said, I mean, come on, goddamn. You want everybody to stop watching the messenger. Use your own discernment, and that's a way that, another way that I feel like the world can, you know, embrace this shift, that need this positive shift that needs to come about. And I'm, I'm coming to you so serious. I'm so serious. You think I would be? If you knew who I was, if it wasn't that serious to me, if I didn't know it would come, it would it would work. If I didn't know that it's possible, or the outcome that God showed me and, and told me through tarot, through dreams, a vibration, a feeling that I need to get out here, let the world know, need to come about. Cause you tired. 
He was like, he'll use a goat, a drunk man. But well, he decided to use me. And then he decided to use you. For awakening the world. Mm -mm. In such a manner. That. We change our ways. Acknowledge it. And don't watch the message. Listen to the message. And then we receive that message. And the message is like a whole. Alarm. Alarm. Um, Michael Jackson said it loud too. He said, take a look at yourself and make the change. I got a mirror right here. Take a look at yourself and make a change. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put my eyelash on, but I just haven't gotten to it because I'm speaking to you guys. Like I said, Basically, I was laying down, but God told me to come tell y'all that. Somebody has an idol that God, God already warned us about having an idol. He said, basically that, have no other God before him because he's a jealous God and some I don't know if that's really what he's saying if that's what man has scripted and misinterpreted or chose to convey it doesn't matter but is it right or is it wrong but some kind of way along the line God wants you to change something about an idol guys stop watching whoever you watch so much stop giving them as much credit as you give them and you ain't giving God no uh uh baby no if I was not on here at this point I'd be playing in my hair you know what I'm saying trying to figure out how I'm gonna wear it today and yes I do my own hair and somebody gonna say something they all every time somebody want to be ambiguous and be like oh I haven't wore um micros in a long time that's what these are micros and they'll say oh I haven't worn, worn micros in a long time trying to like make me feel like my shit out of date but my shit's popping you wish your 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 weaver looked like mine you wish your sewing was falling like these motherfucking braids that's in my head like that and I did it myself every fucking last one of them every goddamn one of them because God showed me because people I was going to Jamaicans and Haitians and Africans thinking they was the best braiding my hair They putting ashes and shit in my hair and making my hair fall out bitch I ain't got time for that God can you please show me how to braid my own hair my daughter hair <coughs> so as to after we reach beating this witchcraft they have tried to place upon me one more time that's not gonna work yes and I said well come it's never gonna work like that thing said, they won't know. They don't know. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's 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 not gonna work. It's not gonna it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. God betcha by golly wow, it's not gonna work. Okay? So anyway, I am sent here by the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost to show people the right way. I'm not coming on here like I'm finna I'm not gonna lose my life behind saying this shit. The minute somebody start harassing me, after I'm hanging this shit up. But I'm coming to tell y'all, you know, even the ones that's thinking prematurely just want to, you know, send me a threatening letter or some some kind of way harass me. Think before you do that because I could be the very one to save you from whatever you got going on. You never know how God, you know, bring people out because I am an introvert. But I am on t I am on YouTube right now telling you guys about something that God told me to tell you. I mean, if that's not enough to let you know that God is real, I don't know what else is. If you never experienced God giving you a blessing, there's something wrong with that picture too. That means you need to get closer to God, girl. You need boy. You know, put the energies where they may apply. But you do need to, um, you know, incorporate God in all that you do. Once you do that, this right here just become natural to you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, whatever. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like that part. So, guys, you got to make a change. That's something that God is asking of you guys. Um, don't watch the messenger. Listen to the message. Um, don't watch that person because that person could be saying one thing and then, you know, doing another. You know what I'm saying? But you can't even get mad at that person or down that person because we as humans know how, how easy it is to embrace that hypocritical 
um, you know, energy as a, sh a shift comes about, you know, we could be questioned and we just, let's be careful and, and compassionate enough to not, you know, uh, inflict that on anybody if they're in a situation of admitting something, coming to groups with something, um, allowing something to be fixed, um, and putting their, you know, energy down, their ego down, their pride, whatever you may want to call it. Let's be considerate, kind, and loving as these things take place and make sure that we have calculated moves and how we're, um, choosing to respond to our brothers and sisters in Christ, our children, our family, our loved ones, um, people that we just interact with, socialists, and, you know, whatever, you know, socializing, just the other interaction of another entity, another human, let's make sure that we're very um, aware of it. It's hard. We're not going to always be perfect. I'm not going to always be perfect, but at the end of the day, perfection is something that can be accomplished by putting forth effort, you know. And don't forget, we all fall, but we got to get up, you know. Um, this is Closet and Mask Killer once again. Thank you so much for coming and watching my video um, that's made for us as the world as a whole. Something to just review back to. Why don't you guys like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you um, invite a friend. Sometimes we can just sit down and have coffee. Some of my videos are articulate enough or communicative enough to where I ask you questions like do you feel me like I'm sitting here chilling exactly with you so you can turn your coffee on you can turn your cheat your tea on your cheat tea you can get your cheat going on while listening to me help empower you just kind of like some natural interacting met guided meditation but the meditation is more of the sound of my voice the um the realness and the authenticness enough of my voice and my energy all in one but it's so big and it's so real that no camera no lens can prevent this energy from being able to um, get you into a whole vibe and ultimately allow you to channel that vibe into energy so it's my energetic exchange to you again guys once again last time thank you for joining me closeted mask healer for bringing you another um, situation of enlightenment um, and a chance to make a change.